VC costs way too much in NBA 2K23. So today I'm going to be showing you guys builds that you can make and you don't have to make another one to play in a different area. This build is going to be able to play everywhere possible. Then I'm going to show you a shorter build that can do that as well. 2v2, 3v3, wreck, all that. You don't have to make a new build to play in a different spot. You can just use one build for the rest of the year. So it's a six foot nine, 187 pound build that has a seven six wingspan not seven seven that's maxed out but a seven six to get that 83 three-pointer which will be very important so your body shape if you guys didn't see the last video as you see look at the arms really quick versus built and defined a lot of people are starting to say that defined body shape might give you another inch or two on your wingspan now i don't know if that's true or not but obviously right here you can see it does make your arms longer now into the build this is what's important plus i'm going to show you guys the badges that i would use on these builds as well i'm going to go up to a 93 driving dunk to get gold post riser so 93 driving dunk you get gold post riser you're going to have gold limitless takeoff and what's really important and different from a lot of builds is six eight and under is you're going to have your slithery in literally tier one which is crazy it's a really good badge anyway your layup is going to go up to an 80. Now, at 80, you're gonna have your silver fillers finisher, all that, you're gonna unlock some layup packages that I really like at 80, but you're also gonna get some finishing badges as well. Close shot is gonna go up to a 76, which gives you 16 finishing badges. Then you wanna go up to a 61 standing dunk to get that 17th badge, so you don't have to add any of your extra badges into the finishing category, because most of your extra badges are gonna go into the playmaking. Now, the mid range is gonna go up to a 69. You guys might think that that's pretty low. You're able to put on mini magician if you shoot a lot of mid ranges but I promise you right now you can green mid ranges easily with a 50 with a 55 in 2k23 it's much different than a three-pointer but if you do shoot a lot of mid ranges just put on mini magician it's in tier one it's not going to cost you a lot of badges anyway your three-pointer is going to go all the way up to an 83 which is going to unlock silver agent threes it says improves ability to make pull up or spin shots from three-point range but that's not even close to what it is past bronze it is the most important badge shooting badge to have on an NBA 2K23. If you don't use Agent 3s on every single build, you're putting yourself at a big disadvantage. It is not just for fading shots and all that, okay? I promise you, you're gonna see it pop up a lot, even when you're not doing fades and stuff. Anyway, your pass accuracy is gonna go up to a 79, which all the competitive pro and players in the world say is the threshold 78 to 79 is gonna give you faster passes then it's going to be 86 for pass accuracy now where i'm going to show you guys another build in a second that has a 86 pass accuracy in case you guys want that but the ball handle is going to go up to an 85 that's going to give you your gold quick first step and your silver handles for days then we're going to go up to a 75 speed with ball now speed with ball doesn't actually matter in terms of speed with ball now you would think that it does but after many many tests yeah it does ha it does matter a tiny bit but acceleration is much more important so you might be saying okay then why are you upgrading it at all you need to get 75 to get michael jordan dribble style which is very important it's the only dribble style basically everybody uses interior defense is going to go up to a 76 so if you're playing wreck if you're playing threes twos whatever it is you're still going to be able to guard the paint that's why i'm telling you guys these builds that i'm showing you you can use every Everywhere. You only have to make one build. You don't have to spend money on one build to play two. Spend money on one build to play threes. You know, all that. Then your perimeter defense is going to go up to an 86. This 86 gives you silver clamps and your perimeter defense is tied to your lateral quickness which is your defense around the three-point line like moving side to side stuff like that so this is important to have really high you know what i'm saying anyway our steel as you guys know stealing is very important in 2k23 and it works really good i have a build with an 85 steel and it's amazing okay so we're gonna we're gonna go up to an 85 which gives you silver glove and once we get into the takeovers i'm gonna explain some things to you guys as well you can basically have a 99 steel with an 85 which we'll get into in in a second but anyway block this one is nice it's gonna go all the way up to a 90 three yes that 93 is going to give you gold anchor and you're also going to have hall of fame chase down orders hold y or hold triangle when you're going for chase down blocks that's what i've noticed gives me a lot better blocks now as you go further down you're going to go up to a 41 offensive rebound and a 73 defensive rebound to get 22 defensive badges now this is a great build in every category. You're going to be able to play twos, threes, rack, pro-am, whatever it is, 1v1 court, 
with this build your speed is your running up and down the court it's not your actual speed with the ball but we're still going with an 81 for defense aspects it doesn't even work on really offense but you're going to have an 81 speed and a max out 81 acceleration 81 acceleration remember acceleration is your actual running with the ball so you're going to need that right anyway vertical is going to go up to a 75 and then stamina is going to max out at a 92. now this build right here is incredible but one thing you might be noticing is that it doesn't have an 82 vertical so if you want your 82 vertical which is going to unlock your elite contact dunks because right now we do have contact dunks on this build but we don't have elite contact dunks all you have to do is you have to move your stamina down one move your interior defense down two and now you're able to get the 82 vertical to get your dunks so it's weird when you're moving stuff up on this game it changes your other attributes but this is the other form of the build that's going to get your elite contact dunks now let's get into what the rest of the build looks like obviously you want to just go up on your free throw and you have your takeovers here so what i was talking about is i have a six foot eight build that has 85 steel and silver glove and when i do use my takeovers for defense i use extreme clamps now in extreme clamps your steel is going to go up plus 10 points then i use the juiced perk which you guys will be able to get while you're playing but even without juice perk you're still going to have a 95 steel but with the juice perk that increases my steel to a 99 in takeover i have a 99 steel it's basically like having hall of fame glove it's like cheating the game to have hall of fame glove of course you only have it when you're in takeover but this build gets everything you're slashing you're sharpshooting you're locked down you're rim protecting whatever you want now i'm going to show you guys the badges i would use on this build so remember we have 17 finishing badges there's no reason to add badges into our finishing category we have lonzo ball lamello ball and penny hardaway so into the builds badges then i'm going to show you guys this next build that is going to be six foot three if you guys want a smaller build and then we're going to be done with the video i'm only showing you guys guys two builds because that's really all you need there's only a few builds that can play everywhere i can give you a build that's 100 for twos 100 for threes you know stuff like that but these builds are going to be able to play everywhere so you're obviously going to be using gold limitless takeoff silver fearless finisher and now you've got one badge left for now okay for now then you're going to be able to enter tier three core post riser or whatever you want to core first and then you're going to have enough points to get your slithery gold and look at that you now still have five extra badges to throw wherever you want literally whatever you want so giant slayer i'm not going to use giant slayer because you have to be like four inches taller to be able to do that you're not going up against many like seven foot one seven foot two unless you're playing wreck or something like that then giant slayer could actually be really good for you guys but acrobat is really glitchy and at, i mean maybe you guys know already acrobat is really glitchy if you're going up for a layup and you're like contested you can just like double tap x double tap square and it gives you these crazy animations but yeah i guess for the rest of them if i was playing rec pro or anything like that i'm going up to gold giant slayer because yes you will be going up some seven one seven two so you're gonna get that nice boost when you go up against them but otherwise there's really nothing else to do except probably just put on pro touch as you guys know when you put on your layup timing you get a 30 percent boost for timing your layups correctly then pro touch gives you a little bit more of a boost it's not like it's just huge but pro touch is going to help you get that boost as well so it's either pro touch or giant slayer into the shooting though we have 17 badges i'm going to go gold amped i'm going to go hall of fame volume shooter green machine is going to gold and then now we have our extra badges so obviously in tier three i honestly blinders yeah i would use that maybe catch and shoot dead eye limitless range so it's either limitless range or blinders now as you guys know if you have watched my channel if you haven't hit that subscribe button i talk about my play style in most areas of park i don't use limitless range or in wreck anything like that i don't shoot a lot of limitless shots Plus, when you shoot a limitless shot in 2K23, it's much different in, than in previous years. For example, in like 2K19, you had to have limitless range to shoot a, just a few feet behind the line. You could literally not make shot with a 99 three-pointer. If you didn't have limitless range, you were not hitting shots like two feet behind the three-point line. Well, that's not how it is in 2K23. You're able to shoot limitless without limits you're able to shoot from the same exact spot except for the further you go back the less likely you are to make that shot without the limitless badge so it's going to help you shoot better from limitless anyway what i'm trying to say is i would probably do something like this for now like gold volume shooter then i'm going to core blinders eventually and use agent three silver or use agent three silver get that cord and use like bronze blind or something like that but you guys get the gist of it right agent threes is going to be on and then we're going to use blinders or limitless range whichever one 
you guys want it's up to you the rest i actually do take quite a few mid ranges now in 2k now that i've played pro am and like i, I see that pull up mid ranges are really good so i probably have on silver uh midi magician to help out my mid range and that's it so we're putting the rest all my in my opinion they're all the extra badges into the playmaking category due to the fact that i just don't see anywhere else to put them i mean I would put them all in here, okay? In my opinion, if I was putting my money on a build and I was putting my badges on to go into a game that costed 500 bucks, if I lost or not, I would do this. So gold hyperdrive, you know, dimer and all that is up to you guys. But needle fetter is going on silver. Quick first step is going on gold. Bailout is going on silver. And we have four badges left, but we would add at least four into there. So let's act like we don't have those four on, at least for now, because we can't see it in this screen. But as you guys know, or if you don't know, when you become a starter in the NBA, you are able to get plus four badges. So you're going to add those plus four into playmaking. But of course, if you've hit level 39 at least twice now, you have plus six. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, we're gonna have handles for days cord and then we're gonna have clamp breaker on and then with that plus four you're gonna be able to throw on here so you'll have six playmaking badges i would throw on uh silver bailout which would be two more and then you can actually hold on sorry i'm tripping hold on hold on hold on hold on my bad we would core unpluckable gold because that does give you say that does save you one point don't want to throw you guys off then handles for days and then we would have four more and i would either do bailout or clamp breaker so it's really up to you guys if you bail out a lot of your passes but i would probably use clamp breaker and of course if you guys have plus six badges you can do clamp breaker and bailout so it's up to you whatever you guys want to do i would probably go with clamp breaker though i mean it just depends on what you guys want to do anyway our defensive badges is going to be silver glove that's like you have to have love on right have to have glove gold menace and then hall of fame workhorse uh you're probably going to be on ball a lot if you're not on ball off ball pest i think is a really good badge uh, i feel like a lot of people don't talk about it but clamp silver you're going to go over to your anchor and core that because this is going to be one of your most important badges and then you can really do what you want with this but i'm going hall of fame chase down and after this is when you have those two free badges to use what you want so you can even go down workhorse and put on challenger or you could do pogo stick something i mean it just depends on what you play how your guys play style is but i'm going hall of fame workhorse and then probably box out beast and I, I really don't think pig dodger works if you guys care about pig dodger you could go silver pig dodger but i don't even think pig dodger works so i'm good i'm just gonna go silver uh box out beast and that's it for this build let's hop into the six foot three so like i told you guys man i'm giving you these builds so that you can literally hop on here and play every single mode without having to worry right so of course like i said i'm going to show you guys a smaller build now it's not going to be able to guard the paint really good so what i'm going to do because i want to give you a build that's going to be able to play everywhere is i'm going to give you the defense to be able to play like perimeter and all that and you're going to have to of course on any small build you're not going to be able to play super good defense in paint you're going to have to have someone help you at some point you know if you're getting demolished in the paint by like a freaking six foot nine or something like that right so five uh 58 close shot now you have 17 finishing badges once again you're not going to have to add any badges into that area we're going all the way up to an 89 three-pointer which gives you gold agent threes which is the best shooting badge in the entire game even if you don't do fadeaways like we said 70 free throw your pass accuracy is going to go all the way up to an 86 this is for pro-am wreck especially but twos threes even if you guys don't really care about that which i'll explain but you're gonna be throwing passes really fast plus gold needle threader plus gold bailout all that stuff but i'm gonna show you guys a build that doesn't have this 86 as well i'm just gonna change it a little bit and that's uh that's gonna be i'm gonna show you two different versions of this six foot three basically so you're gonna be able to throw passes really fast with that anyway 89 ball handle which gives you hall of fame quick first step and i've noticed you guys can go to 90 ball handle if you want by the way but like this is crazy it's really not something you absolutely need which is 92 ball handle to get those elite dribble moves because there's i mean at the moment there's only one move out that i use that you need a 92 ball handle for and that is trey young uh escape so you don't even need that because all the best players in the world use john wall like the top actual 2k league players use john wall i still use damian lillard but they all use john wall so i mean you can live without it is what i'm trying to say perimeter defense though is going up to a 92 as you guys see bro we have a lot of defense mm -hmm. yes we do gold clamps 
on a six foot three, you're gonna be able to clamp people up. 85 steel once again to get that silver glove, then that's it. We're not touching the defense because if you go up on block, look, even if you max out block, you're still not gonna get anchored, right? Chase down artists, yeah, I mean, okay, but you're not gonna have anchor to go with it. It's you're not gonna get a lot of blocks, all right? So, literally, going up and block is just gonna basically waste, right? Like, let's put it in other places where it's gonna matter, like actually matter. Yeah, sometimes you get some chase downs, but anyway, 78 speed and 90 acceleration, so you're gonna be running really fast on this build 75 vertical, and then you're gonna go up to a 90 stamina. So, once again, you guys are looking at the driving dunk in the vertical and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not getting our elite contacts because on a six foot three or anyone under six five, to get those elite small contacts, you need an 85 vertical. So if you want that, you can go down to your 79 and keep in mind, you're still going to get contacts with a 75. You're just not gonna get the elite small contacts with a 75 vertical. So go down your pass accuracy all the way up to an 85 vertical and that's it. That's literally all you have to do on this build. I would just add the rest into like stamina or something like that. And look, you got you can do speed, whatever. That's the build. Literally right there, you have a nice build that can play in every area. Finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, all that, of course. But you're six foot three, so you're not gonna be really like an all-around defender. Anyway, into the takeovers, you get everything. Slashing, sharpshooting, playmaking, lockdown. I mean, it's a beautiful build. It is a beautiful build, I must say so myself. Both of these builds, you're only gonna have to make one and you can play everywhere. That's the point of this video, to show you guys builds where you can play everywhere and not have to worry about making a build for twos, making a build for threes, making a build for pro-am, rec, all that, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, here we go. This is the build and once again, we're doing the exact same thing in finishing, right? We're gonna get our fearless finisher, which is super, super important, except this time we are six foot three. So most people we go up against are gonna be much taller than us. We're gonna go Hall of Fame Giant Slayer to get a big boost. And then we need to touch two more badges to be able to get into our tier three. Now for the last two, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suggest that you guys can add plus one into finishing to be able to get Acrobat and still get your Limitless Takeoff. Or what I'm trying to say is why you'd add plus one is because you need to get 10 badges to touch your tier three badges. And if you're not gonna do that, you're just basically gonna waste them on Dream Shake Drop Stepper, which isn't a big deal at all. I mean, it's really not. You just need to get into tier three. Now you have your Limitless Takeoff and we're gonna core probably Limitless Takeoff. It's gonna take a long time with gold and all that, but just don't worry really about that because you're not really gonna like matter. You know, it's not gonna matter. So basically this is what you're gonna end up doing because Posterizer is gonna be much faster. You're gonna core Posterizer and then you're gonna put on gold, silver, Limitless Takeoff. Like that's sort of the it right there. But after a very long time, you will be able to core this and have one more finishing badge. Then you can take these two off and do Acrobat Bronze if you want. But it's just, it's not, it's a, it's a hassle. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you guys the long term on that build. Hall of Fame Volume Shooter on here. Once again, we're taking middies. I'm taking middies. Gold, uh, Amped, and then Gold Green Machine. And that's it for that category. We're using Gold Agent 3s. We're going to get that cord, okay? So what you can do is just go down one your Volume Shooter, and you're going to be able to touch that. Then I'm going to do Gold Blinders. Now, we have two things that came out recently where you're able to use two cores in the shooting. So I would also use, uh, I would core like Limitless Range or something like that as well, or Core Blinders as well. And then eventually use Limitless Range or Blinders. You see what I'm saying? So that's what you can do. Like I said, I don't use limitless range. So if you guys want to, you can go down, boom, limitless range like that. But I like blinders a lot better. I only use limitless basically in Pro-Am. So needle threaders go on silver. And then we're also going, I mean, if you're on the other build that has the 86 pass accuracy, you're gonna go gold, of course. But anyway, not a big deal. Just letting you guys know. Gold Unpluckable, Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Hyperdrive. I have stopped using Hyperdrive on my small build. I just don't see Hyperdrive really working like that on my small builds. Tall builds, I think they need it. But anyway, once again, we're gonna put our extra badges into here. So we're, in, we're gonna end up having six, right? We're gonna end up having six. So let's just say I have, uh, sorry, we're gonna, we're gonna end up having seven to be able to get into here. I'm gonna 
eventually core clamp breaker gold then we're gonna have on handles for days and of course with our plus four badges right now we would actually have five and then you know unpluckable would be gold and you have two extra to do whatever you want with that into the defense on a six foot three i don't think you're gonna be playing a lot or at least in my opinion on what build i would take into the park if it's six foot three usually you're not gonna be playing a lot of on ball defense but of course that's why we gave it defense just in case so in my what i would do off ball pass is going to go to hall of fame just because what i would probably do is i would just have someone pick up in the paint and we would swing even on twos and stuff like that so the center would drop down i would go to their man in the corner whatever so anyway workhorse is going to hall of fame and basically this build is just a super perimeter defender off ball defender as well you see what i'm saying so like you're gonna be really good off someone not being able to just catch and run by you or when you do get stuck on someone you're you know they're not gonna be able to get by you but if you do play on ball defense you're still gonna be able to play really good defense all that stuff you see what i'm saying i'm trying to get it all out to you guys but this is basically what it would look like right here and then you can do whatever you want with the rest of these badges but i would probably just go silver menace and call it a day that's it guys drop a like hit that subscribe button if you knew it's your boy badge plug you've been plugged in and i'm out peace